the firefighters ran up and the police officers came with bullhorns and they said, we can't save your life, you must get out. The car fire in Shasta County, now the seventh most destructive fire in California history. We'll hear from those who owe their lives to the men and women fighting that massive blaze. Plus, dramatic video of a transmission tower caught in the flames. I'm Brian May in the state's Emergency Operations Center, Cal OES headquarters. Close to 13,000 firefighters continuing fighting the more than a dozen large wildfires up and down California again today. Let's run down the numbers of the four largest fires in the state at the moment. We'll start in the south and work our way once again north. The Cranston Fire, that's the one in Riverside County, holding steady 13,000 plus acres, containment up to 82%. That's up 25% from yesterday. Over 1,200 fire personnel still on that. That fire. The Ferguson fire, the one in Yosemite Valley, Mariposa County, over 57,000 acres, containment at 33%, holding steady with still over 3,600 firefighters. The Mendocino Complex fire that's in both Mendocino and Lake Counties, over 74,000 acres. It grew by 18,000 acres overnight. Containment at 12%, over 2,000 firefighters. And then, of course, the car fire in Shasta County, over 100,000 acres now. It grew 11,000 more acres. Containment, though, up 7%, now at 27%, still over 3,600 firefighters. The car fire, now the seventh most destructive fire in California history. It has now destroyed over 1,200 structures, damaged 200 more and is still threatening more than 2,500 structures, burning more than 170 square miles. If the car fire were a city, it would be the fifth largest city in California, roughly the size of Oakland and Sacramento combined. Now, fortunately, the weather has turned a bit more favorable for firefighters. That's why you saw the containment numbers for the car fire rise, and it's why local law enforcement officials in Shasta County have begun allowing some of the 38,000 people who were evacuated to begin returning to their homes. And for those who had a home to return to, it was an emotional return. The firefighters ran up and the police officers came with bullhorns and they said, we can't save your life, you must get out and the, they ran in that care home and there's child, disabled children and they picked them up and they ran out with them. It was like a movie. And then we just like left our purses, everything, just left it in the house and we just drove away. Thankful. It's, it's kind of a split feeling. I mean, you feel happy that ours is here, but uh, here that there's 800 burned down, it's mixed feelings. I think the most thing we just kept saying is it doesn't matter because as long as we have our life, we're, you know, and I, I get teary-eyed every time I think about how the firefighters went into the flames and we just ran out. So I've held it together really good until I think about the firefighters. The next door neighbors were all outside and we're going looking, you know, and then a lady zooms down here saying, you know, they're evacuating, get out. So I figured she was putting the subdivision way over there. So then we came in and loaded up as fast as we could and left. Well, for those who have been displaced by the car fire, a local assistance center will be opening Thursday, August 2nd at Shasta High School. You can consider the center a one-stop shop for recovery assistance. It will be open from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. daily from August the 2nd through the 8th. And I want to quickly show you some dramatic video of a transmission tower that burned in the car fire. This is from a mounted camera on the Shasta Valley. We've sped it up, but you can clearly see the flames get closer and closer, larger and larger. It is suspected the building at the bottom may have burned. The data from a remote transmitter inside the building gave one final set of readings showing a temperature of 140 degrees, and then it went dark. If you are still wondering if your home survived the car fire, the Shasta County Sheriff's Office now has this interactive map on their Facebook page, and this map allows you to see the status of structures affected by the car fire. Now, it's not 100% complete, but it is being updated regularly by the Cal Fire Damage Inspection Specialists. For the latest information on any of the wildfires currently burning in California, you can go to the Cal Fire Incident page. That's fire.ca.gov. And for shelter information or resources, you can go to wildfirerecovery.org. We've got information there for evacuation shelters, local assistance centers, and links to your local county websites for more information. For all of us at Cal OES, as well as our local, state, and federal partners, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.